good morning! Welcome to story time! Today we're doing a special gingerbread themed story time instead of doing a regular scheduled letter of the week. So don't forget every Wednesday you can go to the library website to the calendar of events at kerbiltx.gov slash 92 slash library to sign up for story time kit where each week there's a song sheet and a craft so when we're done with the story time you can either do this week either the gingerbread house or you can make your very own gingerbread person are you guys ready to sing our greeting song you are okay here we go Buenos dias, buenos dias, como estas, como estas, muy bien y gracias, muy bien y gracias, y usted, y usted, good morning, good morning, how are you, how are you, very well and thank you, very well and thank you, how about you? How about you? Yay! Good job, everybody! But I think we need a little help waking up this morning. I think it's time to sing Open Them, Shut Them. Can you guys open your fingers and shut them? Okay, open them again and shut them. And then give them a clap. Okay, I think you guys are ready for Open Them, Shut Them. Here we go. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give them a clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly upwards towards your rosy cheeks. Open wide your shiny eyes and through your fingers peek. Open them, shut them. job guys you guys are doing such a good job since this week since we're not doing a special letter of the week I think we should just you know refresh ourselves on the ABC song are you guys ready to sing some ABC's here we go A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W job on your alphabet song. You guys are getting so much better at that. So I have a different take on the patty cake song this week. It's called Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Gingerbread Man. So guys are ready for Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Gingerbread Man? Here we go. Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Gingerbread Man. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a G. Throw it in the oven for Santa and me. Very good, guys. You guys are doing such a good job keeping up and everything. But I think it's time for our story time. This week's story is the gingerbread cowboy and it's read with permission from the Laura Geringer books which is an imprint of Harper and Collins publishers. You guys ready for the gingerbread cowboy? Once upon a time in the wild wild west there lived a rancher and his wife. Every morning just as the sun was coming up, the rancher saddled his horses and fed the cattle while his wife baked biscuits. Biscuits with butter, biscuits with honey, biscuits with jelly. Yes, those breakfast biscuits were plump as pillows, soft as clouds, and tasty as a big Texas barbecue. 
Then one day, just as the sun was coming up, the rancher's wife decided she was tired of making biscuits. So she measured and she mixed and she made gingerbread dough. She rolled that dough flat and cut out the shape of a boy, but not just any boy. He had boots on his feet and he had a hat on his head and he had a big belt buckle made of spun sugar. He was a gingerbread cowboy. She took raisins, candies, and nuts and gave him two bright eyes, a laughing mouth, and a cowboy vest with fringe, and then put him in the oven to bake. I sure am hungry for those biscuits, said the rancher, leaning over and sniffing the rodeo romping good smell coming out of the oven. He opened the door for a peek, and quick as a flick of the cow pony's tail, out jumped the gingerbread cowboy, and he ran out the door as fast as his boots could carry him. Can you blame him? Whoa! shouted the rancher. Come back, cried the wife. But the gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He jumped over a horned lizard gobbling up ants and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him. Until he came up to a roadrunner. I was just about to have a lizard for breakfast, said the roadrunner. But I think I'll eat you instead. The gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He wriggled through the corral fence and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him. Until he came into a band of javelinas munching on cactus pads. Gingerbread, shouted the javelinas. Yee-haw! The gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He galloped past the big prickly cactus and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him. Until he came across a herd of longhorn cattle grazing in a field. Mmm, no more grass for us, they cried. We want gingerbread. But the gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He ducked between their legs and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him. Until he met some hungry cowboys riding the range. The cowboys yelled, Stampede! They wanted gingerbread too. The gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And he raced away as fast as his boots could carry him. Until he met a coyote napping in the sun. Now the gingerbread cowboy was feeling mighty pleased with himself. I've run away from the rancher, friend his wife, the roadrunner, the javelinas, the longhorn candle, and the cowboys, he bragged. And I can run away from you, too. The coyote smiled. I don't want to chase you, he said, but I can hear those folks coming fast, and there's a river just ahead. Hop onto my tail, and I'll take you across. I can't let them catch me now, he cried the little the gingerbread cowboy. So he hopped onto the coyote's tail. You think that was a smart idea? I don't think so. The coyote splashed into the river and began to swim. It rained last night, said the, so the river is deep. You'd better get on my back, said the coyote. So the gingerbread cowboy climbed onto the coyote's back. Think that was a smart idea? Let's find out. 
By now, the cowboys, the longhorns, the javelinas, the roadrunner, the rancher, and his wife arrived at the edge of the river. The rancher's wife took out her lariat and swung a loop towards the gingerbread cowboy. Quick, stand on my nose, said the coyote. So the gingerbread cowboy jumped onto the coyote's nose. Ha, 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 shouted the gingerbread cowboy as the lasso fell short. They missed. But I won't, said the coyote. He tossed the gingerbread cowboy into the air and like a flapjack on the griddle and swallowed him in a gulp. And that was the end of the gingerbread cowboy. The end. You guys were so patient and sitting so still to hear that story. Congratulations, go guys. So for our next song, it's called Five Little Gingerbread. So everybody hold up your hand like it's a tr cookie tray. And you're gonna put how many fingers? One, two, three, four, five fingers. You're gonna lay them down on that cookie tray. Okay, so let's sing the song. Five little gingerbread men on the tray. One jumped up and ran away. Catch me, oh catch me, oh catch me if you can. I'm pretty fast, cause I'm the gingerbread man. How many, how many gingerbread are left on that tray? Four, good job. Four little gingerbread men on the tray. One jumped up and ran away. Catch me, oh catch me, oh catch me if you can. I'm pretty fast because I'm the gingerbread man. How many, how many gingerbread cookies are left on that tray? Three, good counting guys. Here we go. Three little gingerbread men on the tray. One jumped up and ran away. Catch me, oh catch me, oh catch me if you can. I'm pretty fast because I'm the gingerbread man. How many cookies are left on that cookie tray? Two, good job. Here we go. Two little gingerbread men on the tray. One jumped up and ran away. Catch me, oh catch me, oh catch me if you can. I'm pretty fast because I'm the gingerbread man. How many cookies are left on that tray now? One. One little gingerbread man on the tray. He jumped up and ran away. Catch me, oh catch me, oh catch me if you can. I'm pretty fast because I'm the gingerbread man. Now how many cookies are left? None. No little gingerbread men on the tray. I'll have to bake more on another day. Excellent county. Our next song, ironically enough, is also called The Gingerbread Man. <laughs> and it's sung along to the song, The Muffin Man. Oh, do you know the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man? Oh, do you know the gingerbread man who ran and ran and ran? He said, catch me if you can, if you can, if you can. He said, catch me if you can, and then ran and ran and ran. I can run like the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man, the gingerbread ran. I can run like the gingerbread man, now catch me if you can. Good job, guys. Now for the beginning of this next song, you guys can all stand up. First, we're going to have the boys bow, and then the girls will take a, a bow when we call. So when I say the little gingerbread boy, all the boys will bow down. And when I say I'm a little gingerbread girl, all the girls can bow down. Okay? So this, let's find out. You guys ready? The song is the gingerbread boy, gingerbread girl. I'm a little gingerbread boy. And I'm a little gingerbread girl. I can jump. Can you guys all jump? And I can twirl. Can you guys twirl in this place? I have raisins for my eyes and bright red buttons. 
just this size. I have a mouth and it looks like this. And I can even blow a kiss. Can you blow a kiss? Good job. I am warm and tasty, but don't eat me. Hang me on your Christmas tree. Good job, guys. Instead of a second story today, we are going to have a very special flannel board story. It's called The Three Little Gingerbread People. How many gingerbread people do you see on my board here? One, two, three. Good job. And at a certain point of the story, you see our friend the wolf here? He's so, so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. It just hurts my tummy. It hurt just gnaws and gnaws. One point, he's going to have to try to blow some stuff down to try to get his, his lunch. And since he's so weak right now, because he's so hungry, he's going to need some help from you guys to huff and puff and blow some houses down. So when we get to that part, you need to help huff and puff along with him, okay? Good job, okay. Once upon a time, a baker made a batch of delicious gingerbread cookies that everyone wanted to eat. By the time he closed up shop that day, there were only three cookies left. Deciding that they definitely did not want to be eaten, they decided to run away. But before they ran away, they each decided to look around the baker's shop for ingredients for their future houses. Now the first gingerbread cookie, he found a bunch of cotton candy. And the second gingerbread girl, well, she found some peppermint sticks. She thought that would be a cool thing to build a house with. The third cookie, he spied a huge mound of fruitcake. And deciding that nothing lasts longer on the earth more than fruitcake, he figured that would be the most perfect, indestructible thing to make a house out of. So the gingerbread cookies made their escape into the woods and out of town and decided to start building their houses in, their, in the woods outside of town. So we had a house made out of cotton candy. Thanks, Wolf. Good job. We had a house made out of peppermint sticks. And a house made out of fruitcake. Well, the wolf is, is coming around in the woods. He goes, I smell gingerbread cookies. So he followed his nose until he spotted a house made out of gingerbread, I mean, cotton candy. Little cookie, little cookie, let me come in. Not by the frosting of my chinny chin chin. If you don't let me in, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. No! All right. Can you guys help along here? <gasps> Woo! They want that ginger, that cotton candy. So the little gingerbread, the first gingerbread cookie made it to the house with a second gingerbread cookie that was made out of peppermint sticks. You think it was a smart idea to build a house out of peppermint sticks? I thought it was a good idea at first. Let's see. Oh, cookie, oh, cookie, let me in, let me in. There's a big hungry wolf after me. Come on in. This house is made out of peppermint sticks. There is nothing, nothing's going to blow this house down. Up came the wolf. 
Little cookies, little cookies. Let me come in. Not by the first thing on our chinny chin chins. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Can you guys help along? Here we go. Well, it, it took a little bit more effort because it was a little bit more sturdier, but then whoosh, there went the peppermint stick house. Oh no! Run away, run away! They came across to that third house made out of fruit cake. Third cookie, third cookie, let us in, let us in, there's a big hungry wolf after us. Come on in. Nothing will get past this fruitcake. And no sooner they shut that door, they heard a knock at that door. Little cookies, little cookies, let me come in. Not by the frosting of our chinny chin chins. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Come and try. Brave little cookie, third cookie, wasn't he? <sighs> Guys, I think he needs a little more help on this one. <sighs> oh man, this is too much effort for three little cookies. I haven't had to work this hard for my lunch in a long time. You know what? This is too much effort. I think I'm going to go snag some of the those peppermint sticks and cotton candy and just call it a lunch. And he left looking in search of that gingerbread and the peppermint, uh, the peppermint sticks and that cotton candy. And the three little gingerbread live happily ever after. The end. Thank you guys for acting along and helping try to get that wolf that his lunch. Don't forget to sign up for next week's holiday theme story time kit on our website. Are you guys ready to sing our goodbye song? Here we go. Hasta luego, hasta luego, adios, adios. Es Luigi. Bye, everybody.